OCAR 19 has been um, something we've been working on at UCL for the last few years. It's our fast off rate CD19 targeting car, um, which we believe is associated with a, a greater um, persistence signal and, and, and possibly a lesser um, toxicity profile. Um, and we've been testing it initially in adult ALL. And um, at the moment, we've treated 20 patients. And so basically, the, the, the readout for this is looking good. Um, so at a median follow-up of about 17 months, 55% um, of patients are disease-free. Now, in the kind of the setting of adult ALL, this is really a very encouraging result for us because, of course, these are patients, you know, who don't have other therapeutic options. So we're really um, enthused about bringing this to phase two because, of course, um, th this is being taken to phase two now by, by Autolis. Um, and we hope to be able to sort of recapitulate those sorts of figures from the phase one and the phase two, um, the data set. And I think the other encouraging thing about this, this car is the fact that the toxicity signal has been really low. And this is something we're just not used to seeing in adult ALL with CD19 car. So the kind of CRS um, index or high grade CRS, we're not really seeing that at all. And that's in the full sort of cohort of 20 patients. Um, so no patients have greater than or equal to grade three. Um, and we had three episodes of grade three ICANs, which is of course the other big toxicity but again, very um, swiftly resolve, resolving uh, with steroid treatment. So I think, you know, all of the early indicators would suggest that this car is certainly tolerable and appears to be safe in an adult LL population. So um, that's the kind of data we're going to be talking about, Ash, this year, LL. Um, the, the kind of encouraging data from the ALL data set has just sort of bring it into um, other CD19 positive um, cancers. And we've now opened up an extension cohort where we're looking at low grade lymphomas, high grade lymphomas and, and also CLL. Um, and to date, we've, we've managed to, to, to fully recruit the, um, the low grade lymphoma cohort. Um, so we've got sort of 10 patients in on that cohort. And to date, we've, I mean, we've, we've man been manufacturing products for those patients um, um, using our semi-automated um, manufacturing platform. So we've had um, really great success with that, with the manufacturing. Um, and in terms of the patients treated, again, it very much mirrors what we've seen in ALL. We've seen a very low tox signal um, in the patients treated so far. So we've got, um, you know, five patients uh, treated on the low-grade cohort. The highest um, CRS grade we've seen is grade one. Um, and we've seen no ICANs, no cytopenias beyond day 30. Um, so this is very encouraging. Of course, these are, you know, the low-grade lymphomas, it's an older um, patient population as well. So that's very encouraging. And what's more, the patients treated to date have all had complete metabolic responses. So it's early days. I think, you know, we, our follow-up really goes up to sort of, you know, month two um, in, in these patients. But, you know, again, we've got what we believe to be um, a, a car that can deliver complete responses, a, a very low incidence of, of, of toxicity. So um, that's really what I'll be exploring in the context of, of ASH this year um, and, um, and, and hoping to sort of recruit into those other high-grade cohorts and CLL cohorts um, in early 2021.